Hey guys, T Stark here. Welcome to the second part of my three part series on the history of the Nintendo handheld line. After the Game Boy Advance came the DS, which had two screens inspired by some of the Game & Watch handhelds that came before it. It was a 32-bit console, meaning that it was more powerful than the ones that came before it, but not quite as powerful as the home consoles. It had a lot of remakes of old games such as Super Mario 64 and Chrono Trigger. After the DS came the DSi, which had a more advanced operating system, as well as added an app store so that you could buy games and play them with store credit. After the DSi came the DSi XL, which basically was just a DSi but larger. Thank you for watching part 2 of my 3 part mini series on the Nintendo handheld line. Like, comment, subscribe, and go to the next video because they're all coming out on the same day.